What's up, everybody? It's your boy KP. Domination. I want to talk to you guys today about advanced warfare. What I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. Capture the um, let's get right into it. Let's talk about what I liked about it. And I like the boost pack. I know a lot of you like, oh, he sucks. Charlie, talk secure. about the boost pack, but the boost pack was Enemy took A. It brought fast-paced movement into Call of Duty. So that was really the only time you had fast paced movement in Call of Duty is if you run it with an SMG with a Maritime Pro and lightweight on it. But what they did was they introduced it in a way where you're boosting, jumping here and there. You still had your slow points depending on what type of gun you were using. But I think the fast paced movement is the next direction that we need to go. It promotes, you know, that running gun. UAV now. Calm down on the camp and even the boosters. Establish perimeter. The swarm in camp district. The division is never going to change. UAV inbound. And what I like about it, it, it probably UAV helped it out with the ability. And you can see it in Black Ops 3. You can see that Black Ops 3. They improved on it. They are not boosted. They don't have boosted. We're just still able to have that, that little meter boost. That gives it to not the elevate, not the craziness that was in advanced warfare where you were this high in the air and then you're boosting over here, you're boosting over there. It was actually in Black Ops 3, they actually kind of controlled it a little bit more, brought it back to old school for all duty, but it improved it enough to where it was so important. Um, also, like all the kinds of customization, you know, you got the different boots, you got the different. The different outfits that they had for all the players. I liked having all the different type of variants for weapons. I thought that was good. The way they, they went about distributing it was, was terrible. We'll get to that in a minute. But I think all the different variants were good. Um, the elite versions, you know, those were good. You had the specialists, those were good, you know. Um, and then you had what was it? I forgot the enlisted version. But, um, I thought the customization was good alpha. and it allowed you to do, you know, put your player together and I like how they added in that when you had a complete suit you got a little five percent boost of star of experience, XP. You know should have been more, but hey. Five percent better than that. I thought they, they did good with alpha. I, I like that. I also like the DLC you know, where they build uh, flashback maps like high. All of the I thought they did a good job of um, making maps this year. Um, a couple of push didn't really play, I mean, you can have your good and your bad, but I think overall they did a good job. Now, getting to the bad side, what I didn't like was just me. The supply drops. We lost C. The Charlie, randomness of the point. supply drops was cool in the beginning. But when they came out with the advanced supply drops, where you had to uh, basically the enemy we had losing A. You know, Guardian, ready for you gotta buy all the supply UAV drops. Incoming. That's the only way that people really got stuff, unless you were lucky as hell. I know I wasn't one of those guys. I didn't start getting royalty weapons until about. Last week I just got the ASM-1 Royalty. UAV I don't even have any of the, um, what was it, the Elite versions of the ASM-1. I'm not even in the end, since the beginning. I'm at Prestige 12. And 12 and 11 30. Hostile UAV spotted. Package on so that, Friendly the randomness of that, incoming. I think sucked, I think they, they just made it too random, they Our basically, they really did, the, the reward system just wasn't there, that I saw that um, made you want to keep playing. You know, you see, they did do good at where you see, you you see an advanced supply drop, or a regular supply drop, you're like, you're open, you're open, Bravo. and then they give you a little uh, chest piece, like, uh, I really don't want that, I need to cut. They, 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 what they also did good was, um, let me go back up to the point, but they also dropped, like, new weapons throughout the, the life cycle. Dropped the MP40. The only time 
forgot to play with Desmond picking up off the front because I still don't have it. That was good. Securing you know, alpha. Getting back to the bed. You know, the, just the right. This was just terrible. Uh, I didn't have that. They gave basically whoever, whoever held them. Those Get elite weapons had the advantage over you. They know how to play with it right. Also, what I didn't like the 30 prestiges. You announce 15 prestiges. 50 max per prestige. And then you're gonna come out and add another 50 on top of that bar. Made no sense to me. And then to incentivize them, incentivize them, they, um, every prestige after that you get one of those elite Secure weapons that you couldn't get randomly. I know one of my boys, he played it hard. I mean, I think he, he didn't get Friendly the speakeasy until he reached whatever prestige that is seen. for you to get the speakeasy. I don't really know the number, but, and he was playing hard, he was playing hard all year, I think he's at Grandmaster. He can get the ESM one until then. What type, what type of randomness is that? Like that this is not making sense to me. But that, I just, you know, that and, and the prestige of being thirty is just, it's just terrible. But for me, the whole thing overall, I think Advanced Warfare was a good game overall. That's one of the games, one of the Call of Duty games. I'm definitely going back and playing. I'm definitely going back to play you know, after Black Ops Three. You know, while I'm playing Black Ops Three, yeah, I'm jump back on Advanced Warfare. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna do that. I like the fast-paced movement. I like the jump and the boosting all over the place. To me, overall, Black Ops, not Black Ops, Advanced Warfare was one of the better Call of Duties in recent memory. Other than, uh, like, Black Ops 2 to me, that brought it back to me after Advanced Warfare 2. I played Black Ops 1, I liked it. I played Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't the same. And then I went to play back on uh, Black Ops uh, 2, or Black Ops 2 I really liked, especially the play for Killbound. But overall, I liked Advanced Warfare, I would say a 7 or 10 overall. You know, those couple things with the supply drops and the, and the 30 prestige, just, just, I just, you know, that. And, the, and then, of course, like the wall, the boost, the boost jump, and they get out of hand. But overall, I think the boost jump is just at a necessity. To move the franchise forward in the direction of the fast pace. Uh, you guys, you know, let me know, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys think my, you know, my opinions like, you know, you don't agree with it, or if you do agree, with it. or if you don't, maybe something like that you might want to add. There's plenty of stuff you can talk about with this. With this. And you know, I'll see your comments below. Everybody have a good day. Peace out. I'll let you go. Lightning strike awaiting coordinates. Be secure. Care package inbound. Oh. Friendly UAV inbound. Oh. Lightning strike awaiting coordinates. Losing Bravo. Guardian destroyed. Losing Lightning Charlie. Strike HCXD inbound. Enemy took Charlie. Losing B. Securing A. Sending lightning strike target. Friendly UAV inbound. Charlie, hostile health support inbound. A secure. Charlie locked down. Casino D4 advised. Hostile UAV incoming. Friendly health storm inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Battery boosted. Losing Charlie. Enemy has Charlie. Losing Alpha. Securing Charlie. Securing Bravo. B locked down. Friendly health storm inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Losing B. Hostile UAV spotted. UAV inbound. Securing Charlie. Spotted kill. 
Losing Bravo. All locations secured. Hold your positions. Enemy took Bravo. Single shooter! Perfect outcome.